Let's move on now. Our next story is the Sony very difficult to name SRSNS7. <laughs> Sony, why do you do this? I mean, why don't you just give it nice, simple names? People can't remember this. SRSNS7 neckband speaker. Come on. Okay, now, sits around the neck. Audio drivers inside direct sound to the user's ear. Weight is light enough that the user can forget that the speaker is still on their neck. Extremely comfortable to use for long hours. Ergonomically designed. Comes with IPX4 rating for water resistance. Sound is a mix bag when it comes to music or anything else and you know you have to think about it what are the use cases where all can you use it where can you not use it that's something to think about now i also thought there was the bass response is a little less but it's ideal for watching movies and shows and playing games while connected to any device it does create a nice wide sound stage it makes watching content more immersive but like i said it's something that you may or may not be able to use in every situation while headphones stay clamped to your head, closing you off from the world, the device we're going to talk about today aims to provide an audio experience that's a little bit different. It concentrates a lot more on comfort, surround sound, not being cut off from the world around you, while also being less intrusive than headphones. It is the Sony neckband speaker. Now, neckband speakers are not something new, but these offer some advantages and some disadvantages. As the name suggests, this is a neckband speaker, meaning that it sits around your neck with the drivers inside it directing audio at your ears. The design serves as a big advantage. The speaker weighs 340 grams, which is very comfortable for something that will sit around the neck. After keeping them on for a while, one might even eventually forget that they're even there. And since they're not constantly clamping at your head, you can have them on for as long as possible without ever feeling it. The controls on the speaker are located on the inside of the left and right sides of the speaker. The spot is mostly the same as where your shirt collar would be, so accessing the buttons is ergonomically easy. The speaker also has an IPX4 rating for water and dust resistance, so it can survive small spills of water. The sound on the speaker is produced by two 33mm drivers that fire sound upwards towards the ears and two passive bass radiators which fire the low end frequency downwards. While the design was an advantage for comfort, it is a disadvantage for sound. The angle at which the sound meets your ears is 90 degrees which is not really the best as only a part of the sound is actually reaching our ears. Therefore what you hear is not as good and immersive as what you would hear with a pair of headphones. And the bass radiators while present are not that effective in adding a significant thump to the sound. So the sound is neither deep nor immersive resulting in a bad experience for the music. And unlike headphones which move with our head, the NS7 does not. So if you were to look in some other direction rather than straight, the source of the sound shifts. Where the speaker ends up working well is when it's used with a TV or any device to watch content. That's where there are advantages. Despite the sound source being far away from the ears, the details and dialogues reach the ears really well. The sound stage set is wide, so watching shows and movies becomes a lot more immersive. And since there's still just speakers sitting around the user's neck, the volume can be loud and it won't cause any disturbance to your surroundings. So the speakers can be a great choice while watching movies or even while gaming. There are also mics on the speaker, so you can use these speakers for video calls. And inside the box is also a WLA NS7 Bluetooth receiver. This can be connected to a USB port on any of the Sony Bravia TVs. The TV will automatically detect the neckband speaker and thereafter if the user watches Dolby Atmos content, they will have an even better dynamic surround sound audio experience. The NS7 can be set up via the Sony headphones app and the user can also tune the EQ to what suits them. As for battery life, the speaker lasts for 12 hours on a single charge as advertised. The Sony SRS NS7 neckband speaker come with a set of advantages and disadvantages which make the use case for them pretty clear. If you want to enjoy a more personalized audio experience for your movies, shows and games, all of this while avoiding the intrusiveness of headphones, the NS7, even at the price of 22,990 rupees, are for you. And it will be a perfect choice if you have a Bravia TV and our recommendation stands only if these are your priorities.